This time I will take a look at another KSP mod called Before Carbine, created by Gameslinks, and this mod is based on the stock solar system, but 2 billion years ago in the past. And also it will replace whole solar system, so I recommend to make new clean KSP installation for it, or at least new save. Ok, so now we can move to the installation, which is in this case very simple. First of all, find where you have your KSP installation folder. The easiest way how to do it is by going to Steam, right click to KSP, Properties, Local Files and Browse Local Files. Then open up Game Data folder, a download mod from link in the video description. And then open it with something which can work with archives. I'm using WinRAR and copy everything to Game Data Directory. This is all what you have to do. Now you can launch the game, but make sure you selected 64-bit KSP version and you should have at least 5GB of RAM. It will work probably with less, but you will almost for sure have problems with textures and overall gameplay. I tried to run it with 8GB of RAM, which was barely enough and also with 16GB which was fine. And now if we take a look at the game itself, we will find totally redone loading screen and all planets and moons in solar system. We will start at planet called Eden, which is equivalent of the EU. And it is very beautiful planet with moon called Serpent, which is very poisonous and this mod has much more beautiful planets, which I will show you now, because nobody wants to watch me talking. But all those detailed 4K textures in combination with terrain scatters are absolutely gorgeous. So that's it for today, in my opinion very well done mod and it has also a Delta V map, which I will put in the video description also with download link and list which planet is equal to which. Anyway don't forget to check out Games Leaks forum post for technical support and other stuff or you can check out After Carbine mod, 
which is right now in development, or Planet Overhaul, which is also a very nice mod from him. And last but not least, I want to thank you for over 3000 views on my previous KSP mod installation video. Bye!